G'day, g'day, my name's Jim and today I'm going to be showing you how to unclog your hot end and replace your heat block and nozzle on a Sprite extruder. This is the Ender 3 Series 1 Pro, arguably the best printer Creality make. Probably sooner more than later you're going to need to know how to unblock it. The first thing you need to do is gently push these tabs to the outside. This releases the ribbon cable. Your cable may be retained in these two tabs. If so, gently bunch the cable, releasing one side, and then pull the other side out. Next, grab the hex keys that came with your printer and use the right size to undo these four screws anti-clockwise. Do not undo the fifth screw. This holds a tab on the side of the extruder so it can be kept in place. After removing the screws, gently lift your Sprite extruder out of the machine and place it on a flat surface. Warning, this could be extremely hot. Now, if your hot block is cold, there is a good chance you will need to heat it up to be able to unscrew the nozzle. I use a small heat gun or a jet lighter. Warning, if you put too much force on this or turn it in the wrong direction, you will shear the nozzle off or the heat break. Next, remove the two plugs that connect the hot end to the extruder. Next, remove the two bolts holding the hot end onto the extruder. You may need to melt the plastic out of the heads. Again, I use my hot air gun or a jet lighter. After you've removed the two bolts, loosen the grub screw on the back of the extruder that holds the heat break in place. After it's been removed from the extruder, I use a 2mm drill bit to drill out anything that's left inside the heat break, usually a bunch of melted plastic. After it's been completely drilled out and cleaned, you can then replace it back into the extruder. Replace the two bolts into the heater block, screw them down pretty firmly. I then tighten the grub screw to keep the heat break in place, and then back off the two heat block bolts by one eighth of a turn. I have found if these bolts are done up too tightly, they could be almost impossible to undo after the printer has been used a few times. I'm now going to replace the nozzle with a brand new one. I can spend my time unclogging it while the printer gets back to printing. Screw the nozzle back into the heat block until firm. As I said, you will shear it off if you force it. Now don't worry if my nozzle looks different to yours. I've been experimenting with different types of nozzles and different kinds of setups. After you've screwed the nozzle in firmly, you then must heat the block back up again and then give it a small turn to make it tighter. This is called hot tightening. If you do not do this, there's a great chance that you will leak hot plastic all over your hot end and have to redo this process all over again. Then replace the heater cable and then replace the thermistor cable. Place your Sprite extruder back on its frame. It should sit there quite easily by itself. Then replace the four screws. Don't over tighten. Place the ribbon cable back into the top of the extruder and put the clips back over the top of it. Remembering you must adjust your Z offset. If you do not adjust the height of your nozzle and your nozzle is 0.2 millimeters lower than what it was, it will grind into your bed. Ask me how I know. Okay, well that should get you back up and running. Now that's all for me today. Big shout out to my first Patreon, Legend Mitch. Thanks for watching. You'll be good. You'll stay safe. And we'll see you tomorrow. Techno, techno.